The Lightning to USB adapter allows you to connect USB audio interfaces, microphones, and a whole bunch of other gear to your iPhone or your iPad. But how do you know which are and are not compatible with iOS? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips that are gonna help you out. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where my passion is helping you create, record and release your best music, especially using iOS devices. So when folks come to me and ask me, is this device compatible with my iPhone or iPad? There's a few things that I need to let them know and that is what we're gonna dive into in this video. Now, before I jump in and give you the full explanation of what to look for, if you want a shortcut, you can head over to my gear guide at studiolivetoday.com slash gear because everything I have there is 100% class compliant, tested by me and by people that I trust because they are products that I have personally used with iPhone and iPad. So if you want to skip all of this, just go to studiolivetoday.com slash gear. But now let's dive in and give you the full explanation. When you are shopping for new gear and you want to connect it to your iPhone or your iPad, you want to look for something called class compliance. So something being class compliant means that it will run without the need for any additional drivers. And that's important because there's no way to actually install drivers on your iPhone or your iPad. So unlike your Mac or your PC, where you can download additional software and install additional drivers to run your audio interface, your microphone, your other device, on your iOS device, you can't download and install drivers, so you need a class compliant device. Now the challenge is that not every manufacturer is on board with actually spelling it out really clearly that their device is class compliant. The good news is that anything made in about the last five years probably is class compliant, except for your really high-end prosumer and professional gear. Something like a 16-channel interface mixer may not be class compliant because it may need special drivers to run on your Mac or your PC, but most of your consumer level gear is going to be class compliant. The other thing to look for when you're buying gear is that some gear like the Steinberg range of interfaces will actually specifically spell out that it is iOS compatible. And that's why I use and recommend the Steinberg range of interfaces because they are iPhone and iPad compatible right out of the box. And in fact, your UR12 and UR22 Mark II even have a separate power selector here, making them even more convenient and easy to use. And there are videos, which I'll link up the top there and in the description, all about the Steinberg range of interfaces. Interfaces. Some models like the Steinberg UR44 pictured here even have a switch that can actually change them into class compliant mode. So even if you're using them with your Mac or PC and you're using the more advanced drivers, you can flick them back to class compliance mode and use them with your iPhone or your iPad. Now at this stage, some of you may be asking, Pete, what if I've got some older gear or if I'm looking to buy something secondhand, how do I know definitively that it's gonna work with my iPhone or my iPad? Well, the sad answer is you don't. And you can go to the manufacturer's website. You can check all the specs and see if it's mentioned there. You can even email the manufacturer and ask them. However, if it's not mentioned anywhere, and if it's an older product, I would err on the side of caution and assume that it's not going to be supported. Again, if it is supported, it will say class compliant, it'll say iOS compatible, it'll say driverless or driver free mode, something like that is what you're looking for. If it doesn't say that, then you may be out of luck. However, if you wanna be sure that the gear that you're buying is gonna be compatible with your iPhone or your iPad, head over to studiolivetoday.com slash gear because all of the USB audio interfaces, the USB microphones and all the other gear that I recommend has been used by me. And I use iPhone and iPad for almost all of my recordings. So if they're working for me, there's a very good chance they're going to work for you. So thank you again for watching. We've got two more videos linked down there. We've got microphones down here and audio interfaces down here. So if you want even more advice about how to select the right USB device to use with your iOS device, check out those videos. Subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you on the next video.